हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ट्यूटोरियल्स पॉइंट इन दिस वीडियो सीरीज वी विल बी लर्निंग अबाउट जुमला जुमला इज अ कंटेंट मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम व्हिच इज ओपन सोर्स एंड व्हिच केम इन द ईयर 2005 इट्स करंट वर्जन इज 3.6 सो हियर वी विल लर्न अबाउट द फीचर्स एडवांटेजेस एड वेल एज द डिसएडवांटेजेस ऑफ जुमला जुमला बेसिकली कंसीडर्ड एज अ सेकंड मोस्ट पॉपुलर सीएमएस आफ्टर वर्डप्रेस सो लेट्स फर्स्ट वर्क अपॉन द फीचर्स Here you can see the first feature is user manager. Here let's say you need to add a new admin or editor to a website. You can easily add to a website using the user manager feature. The next one is content manager. Let's say you need to add a new article to a website. You can easily add it with Joomla through the content manager feature. The next one is banner manager. Let's say you need to change the banner of a website on the home page especially. You can easily change it without going to any other setting. There is a default setting available known as banner manager. Here you can upload your banners or you can add a new banner. The next one is template manager so a website basically consists of a layout or you can say as a template through template you can easily structure your website so through template manager you can easily change or add a new template to your website the next one is media manager let's say you have a website and you need to add images pdf documents to your website you can easily do it through media manager it is a media library if you want to set the default side of images you can easily add it through the media manager setting The next one is contact manager. Let's say you need to add a contact to a website. So these settings are the by default global parameter settings. For example, if a new user comes to a website, creates an account, and if you want to show the street address or you want to hide these settings of adding a phone number or or other stuff, you can easily do it with the contact manager settings. The last one is menu manager. Let's say you need to add a new menu to a website. You can easily add it. You can straight away add a new structure. You can add sub menus also with these features. without having installing a new plugin or extension so now let's work upon the advantages here you can see the first one is it is open source that is just go to joomla.org and install it and work upon it we will work upon the installation in the upcoming videos the next one is easy to install it is quite easy to install it consists of a bunch of step or you can say that four to five steps through which you can easily go to the admin of the website after successful installation The next one is WYSI WYG editor which means what you see is what you get editor these are editors editors through which you can easily create a UI of a website you can easily access the UI without any hassles the next one is Joomla is basically considered as compatible with all the browsers currently available in the market next one is it consists of flexible templates through which you can easily structure a website menu creation tool menu creation tool let's say you need to add a new menu top menu or any other menu main menu to your website with sub menus or flexible responsive menus you can easily add it with the menu creation tool the last one is search engine optimization joomla is basically compatible with seo that means through which you can by default add some tools or it is having some tools through which you can easily make your make your website compatible with search engine optimization to make it high ranking website so now we will work upon the disadvantages Here you can see the first one is layout option. There are a lot of layout options available, but some are quite complicated, which make Joomla complicated. Next one is paid plugins. Plugins are basically software company to add extension to your website to enable more functions to your website. Some are free plugins, but some great plugins are also paid, which is considered as a disadvantage only. Next one is compatibility of plugins. Plugins basically whenever you will install it, it should be compatible with other plug plugins so that it works correctly. It should be also compatible with the themes and layout options. So if you are not good in PHP or you are not into programming, then it may create some issues. So in this video, we worked upon what is Joomla, why it is used, what are the features, advantages, and disadvantages of Joomla. In the upcoming videos, we will be learning about why we should use Joomla and what is the difference between WordPress. We will also work upon it's different options before going towards the installation of joomla thank you for watching